Shalom. Welcome to Daily Bread with Trinity Holy Year. It is impossible to doubt God when you know God. So I want to just take you through a few scriptures and just impact your spirit through the revelation that the Holy Spirit has shared with me over the years. Uh, the book of John 17, 3 says, Now this is eternal life that we may know you, the only true God, Jesus Christ, whom you sent. So when you know who you are serving, it is impossible for you to doubt God because you know that with him all things are possible. For the preacher to get to a level where he was inspired to write such a scripture, he had seen that our God is able, is so much able to do exceedingly above more than what we can ever ask, think, or imagine. Meaning to say, God took him to dimensions of knowledge, dimensions of experiences. You would, whatever you would ask, whatever you would request, whatever you would say, it would materialize. So that's where you would see a scripture like that. To say, it's uh, possible to get whatsoever that you ask but it does not start there it gets there when you know your God you get to that level when you know your God it doesn't start there most people want to start up there but it starts by you knowing your God and of which when we begin to walk with God there are trials which most people begin to bind and cast and think that those are evil spirits but yet it's God just trying to see if their faith is genuinely in him so my second scripture is from Hebrews chapter number 6 verse 18 God did this so that by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie we who fled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged take note uh, this it, the scripture is saying it's impossible for god to lie so it must be impossible for you to doubt god of course you can only reach that level or that dimension once you get to know your god so i want you to verbally say to say lord come into my heart come into my life, begin to teach me, begin to guide me, teach me the deep things of God according to the book of Deuteronomy. Things revealed belong to your sons and daughters, but the Spirit teaches us the deep things of God, meaning to say God can begin to trust you with certain things, certain mysteries as an individual, where God begins to say, this is just for you, my son. This is just for, like what you say to Abraham, you say, for Knowing that Abraham shall be a great nation, he shall be a father of many nations, shall I not tell him this? Meaning to say God is now telling him because they are friends. So I want you to get to a level where it becomes impossible for you to doubt your God. And it's so easy. Once you have a day-to-day -day relationship with him, once you have uh, the God-kind encounters, which grow to be a habitation the encounters must grow to a habitation where god lives in your house where god lives in your heart where god lives wherever you are where god is at your workplace where god is where you go so you can get to that level It's definitely there but it needs to get to be more real more than an issue of faith when it's when the scripture is saying it is impossible meaning to say this person knows what he's talking about it's not an issue of faith anymore, but it is, he has walked a level of just believing into knowing that it's impossible for God to lie. So it also has to be impossible for you to doubt your God, where you know that uh, if you ask anything, he will definitely give you. May God bless you and do it for you. I want to especially invite you for tomorrow's service, which is um, visions, dreams, and revelations part two where i'll be teaching the deep things of god pertaining dreams visions and 
revelations, the mysteries of God, we can definitely grow together from one degree of glory into another. When the word comes into your heart, it becomes one with you as you allow it, as you bind it to your spirit. You grow and uh, you are illuminated. You are illuminated. The light in you begins to break forth. It emanates to the ends of the earth. May God bless you. See you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I believe it's uh, the 20th of February. 9 p 9 a.m. cat it's 9 a.m. cat shalom